Hi, I'm Sarisu Dekran, and in this video, I wanted to answer a question I've been asked a lot, and that is, should you go to film school or not? Now, this is just my opinion. Uh, it's for beginners only who are looking to go to film school. You might want to get opinions from different sources, and I have very strong opinions about this, so if you don't uh, like that, or if you're just looking for, you know, pros and cons, and no definitive answer, then maybe this is not the video for you. I'll give you a few pros and cons so you can uh, you know, think for yourself, but at the end, I have my own very specific uh, advice to give you. Uh, I have my very sp uh, own specific answer to give you to the question. So, as with any other school, you have to balance the pros and the cons. What are the pros of film school? One of the things that uh, will immediately come to mind is knowledge. So you have knowledge and things that you can learn by reading or by understanding, you know, theoretical knowledge. Uh, it's about camera, about exposure, about lighting, the tools of lighting, about editing the software and all that kind of thing. For me, that isn't uh, an excuse anymore to go to film school because there's nothing that film school can teach you theoretically that you cannot learn by yourself by, through the internet or by reading books. Internet is definitely better because of YouTube. There are so many videos on every subject imaginable. If you want to learn about exposure, I'm sure you'll find 20 or 30 videos on exposure. So if you watch them all, you have a far greater understanding than what one professor or teacher can teach you. And of course, then you can read books and talk to other people as well. So knowledge by itself is not an excuse. The second thing is, uh, film education is not as deep or difficult to learn as engineering or medicine. Now engineering takes about four years, medicine takes about five years. You can learn everything about filmmaking in a month. That's all you, uh, it takes. I'm, ta I'm talking about writing a script to learning how to use your camera, exposure, you know, the basics, uh, aperture, ISO, shutter speeds, uh, a little about color grading, a little about editing, Theoretical knowledge about uh, filmmaking you can learn in a month. Now, practical knowledge, which takes experience, which takes practice, you have to do the things that you learn. That might take uh, a, a longer time. In my experience, it might take about a year or two years of continuous practice to really become good and proficient at something. So you can then you know, become employable. You can go out in the world and say, you know what, I'm ready to do uh, this because I have this set of skills that I've developed over a few years. So, knowledge by itself, you know, just to bring closure to that subject, is not an excuse to go to film school. The second thing uh, is your certificate or your degree. And I'll just tell you right off the bat, I've never seen anyone ask, anyone serious at least, ask for your certificate or care about what film school you've been to. I certainly haven't. I've employed people for a very long time now for a lot of my projects and I haven't once asked anybody about their film school. People have volunteered that information, I've gone to this or that. It has made no difference to me because I've always been self-taught in uh, filmmaking and I know what constitutes practical experience is not what you get in film school. As a whole, I'm not you know, going to generalize for every film school, but that's been my experience and I don't really care about any certificate. You can show me a certificate that you've gone to the best school in the world and another candidate might not have a certificate at all and I still wouldn't you know use a certificate to judge anything. It just shows that maybe you know your parents had more money than the other guy otherwise just has no value to me as a person. It might have to you and you might have your own opinion so but for me you asked for my opinion in this video and that's not a good enough excuse. It's not as valuable you know as a medical degree or an engineering degree. The next thing is wisdom, you know, wisdom of your professors or the uh, staff that are going to be with you during your uh, film education. You hope that their knowledge and their wisdom, their practical knowledge will help you, will guide you through the correct path. And that is true because if you have a great professor, a great staff member, a great teacher, that is a tremendous amount of you know, uh, a tremendous advantage uh, of film school. If you have bad teachers, equally bad. So some film schools, I'm sure, have great teachers. All film schools might at least have one good teacher. 
Otherwise, they, they cannot sustain themselves. But if you have many good teachers, that's, that's a great thing to do. But how do you find out if you have great teachers? You have to you know, really do your research. On the other hand, for me, the, the negative about that is, let's say you want to get some information from you know, Roger Deakins or uh, some director of your choice. You can actually go and meet them in person. They're not actors, okay? They're not you know, guarded by bodyguards. You can actually find a way to go to their office and just meet them for a few minutes, get their autograph, and if you have a few questions, you can just ask them. As long as you're not applying for a job because they get you know, hit from all sides every day, if you, if you tell them right up front that, you know, I'm not going to look for a job, I just need uh, answers to a couple of questions as advice. I'm sure they'll, you know, they'll be happy to tell you. If not them, there's so many uh, directors and cinematographers. There's so many ways to contact them. Like Roger Deakins has a forum. Uh, there's uh, many cinematographers have Instagram profiles where you can actually ask questions and they might answer you. Answer. There's so many forums out there where working professionals talk each uh, and every day online. It's all free. So instead of, you know, uh, what, uh, depending on the wisdom of one or two professors or, t or teachers, you have thousands of people on the internet that you can listen to and then you can form your own opinions after having done all your research. So for me again, wisdom is very important, having a great mentor is very important, but it's not good enough a reason to go to film school. Then uh, you have experience, practical experience. Practical experience is very important, without that nothing uh, you know, is going to help you you need to know whatever skill set if you're going to be in direction you need to know how to write a script get actors together uh, you know learn about camera movements camera angles all the stuff that I've been showing you on this channel you need to know how to edit very important as well you need to know all this you need to at least have uh, an understanding if somebody walks away from your film set you should be able to fill in the shoes and at least get things moving you might not have the same skill or art level as them that's why you're employing them right but if uh, if they walk away, you should be able to fill that gap. That's what a filmmaker is, somebody who knows everything, and not just theoretically, somebody who actually knows how to operate a camera, learn to edit, maybe do a little bit of color grading if they can. So if a director tells me that they don't know some particular skill set, I know they're, they, you know, they, they're not there yet. At least they should know how to do things. And film school, uh, if, you, if you're in a long program, then you get your opportunity to learn from um, by using the tools. If you're in a three to five year program, then I'm sure you can you know have enough time to learn editing. But seriously, to learn editing, you just need a computer and software. DaVinci Resolve is free, and a computer, I'm sure most of you have it because you're watching uh, this video on one. So you should be able to learn editing by yourself. There's no need to go to film school to learn editing. Uh, to learn a, a camera, you can buy a cheap camera, or even mobile phones with apps. I have a video on good apps for a mobile phone. So for a few dollars, you buy an app, a good professional app, and you can adjust aperture, ISO, shutter, and you can learn cinematography with your mobile phone. You don't need anything. And lighting, buy some LED lights, cheap Chinese no-brand LED lights, and you can learn lighting. I have a whole guide that shows you how to light with DIY stuff. So there's no excuse to learn uh, you know, that you need gear and you need to go to film school to touch the gear. Touching the gear, touching an Arri Alexa camera will not get you a job. It, it will not let you uh, learn how to use it like, you know, Emmanuel Lubezki or whoever. Uh, it's just like, you know, you have a favorite sports player like Michael Jordan. If he holds the ball and you touch that ball, you're not going to be able to play like him just by touching that ball or even buying that ball. It doesn't make a difference. So the tools really don't make a difference as far as learning is concerned. In film school, you're actually learning, uh, learning to apply, use those tools. And the fundamentals of an Alexa or a mobile phone, exposure is exposure, lighting is lighting. Okay, the differences in those two are not relevant uh, at this stage in your life. Mm -hmm. The most important thing for me in terms of film school, which I still value, the only thing actually, is networking. And networking, I mean friendships. The friendships that you form with people, your peers in your classroom, some of them might, you know, sustain themselves for life. I have a few friends from film school. Uh, I, I actually went to a three-month film direction program, and it was a total waste of time in terms of learning or whatever. 
if I had to do it again, of course I wouldn't. Actually, I, I was thinking of even dropping out. But then I, you know, it's just three months. I said, let me just finish it anyways. But the single greatest value that I got is the friendships, the few people, the three or four people that I still am in touch with. And some of them I still work with on a professional level. And after so many years, we become very close friends. So that kind of bond only forms, uh, is very beneficial. Because if you're beginning out in your career, you're a director and maybe your friend is a cinematographer, whatever, editor, whatever, you can all grow together. Help each other network and get jobs. And it's a very powerful and very uh, crucial bond. But the question is, is there another way to form those bonds? You know, is film school the only way? But it's, it's something that I consider very serious and a, a very serious advantage to film school, uh, film school because you are in a pressure cooker classroom for, you know, whatever, one year, two years, three years, and those bonds will form eventually unless you, you're a social weirdo or something. So that is definitely an advantage of film school. Now, those are the pros of film school. The cons are, and if you can call it that, is the time, the money, and uh, film schools, good film schools, in the whole world, there are only four or five of them, actually, that really deliver all the things that I've put in the pros, everything, every one of them. If you want all of that, only, there are only four or five film schools. And they're all pretty expensive, except for a couple I know, uh, government-run schools that are cheap. Those are great if you can get into those. But then again, uh, government-run schools also uh, are prone for, uh, to strikes. I know of cases where somebody has enrolled in a two-year program and it took them four years to complete because of a strike. Now, obviously, they didn't have to pay anything, but they lost two years of their lives. Okay, and when you're young, you don't think that is important. But as you get older, you think what an idiot you were to just lose two years of your life doing nothing. So be very careful about time. Time is very precious. Mm. Uh, so if you're able to get a grant or you know uh, some kind of scholarship to a film school, uh, if, you, if you're able to save money, that's great. Then obviously you can you know, factor that. But time is also important. If you're going for a three to five year program, you better get into a film school that can actually deliver a lot of value to your life. Uh, you should be looking at things, uh, you know, some good film schools that I've uh, looked at online. I just looked at a few before making this video. They range from $30,000 to $100,000 in just tuition fees. That's a, a huge amount of money, no matter where you are in the world. When you get out of film school, how are you going to make that money back? Now, you're not, you're not going to be a lawyer or an accountant or a doctor or an engineer with a fixed salary. You're not going to, you're going to be in, in the freelance business. You're going to get jobs today and then maybe no jobs for six months. How are you going to get that money back? Are you, are you going to become a, an ace cinematographer or a director overnight? No, it's going to take a decade maybe to get there. So who's going to pay the bills? Your parents? And, you know, you might want to think about how much strain you're putting them through just because, you know, you want to go to film school and you have all these dreams, assumptions that you've made, which this video hopefully will correct. So um, that's about it for the pros and cons. Now, it's really up to you to do your own research, okay? You are responsible for your own actions, your own life. Don't blame anybody. Don't blame me for telling you or giving you advice. That's the way losers are in life. They just blame somebody else for their own problems. Uh, you've been given the options. Now, I'll tell you what my opinion is, if you haven't you know, figured it out already, is don't go to film school. It's definitely not worth it in today's world. There was a time you know, when it was very important. When I was young, I had to go to the library to get film books. There was no other way. Uh, I used to uh, wait for months for the local bookstore to get one or two books that I could buy. I spent a huge chunk of my pocket, uh, pocket money uh, to buy film books. And that was the only way I could educate myself. And I'm from India, right? So you know, if you're an Indian, you know how it is in India. So that's how it is. But if you're in, in Europe or in the U, uh, U.S., a developed country, then you have a little more access to information at that time. Today, it doesn't matter where you are. As long as you have internet and a phone, you have access to any, uh, any information that you might want. So there's just um, uh, no excuse as far as knowledge is concerned. As far as experience and, you know, when you try to balance it with time and money, I said it takes two years to become good at something. It takes about two years to make a movie, a whole feature film, from writing to putting everything together to shooting to post-production to finishing it, trying to get a censor certificate if you're in a country where you need that. 
trying to market the film, trying to distribute the film, trying to make money back. That entire process takes at least two years from beginning to end. So it's you spend the same amount of time, actually less amount of time than a, a full film school or film course. If a, if a film direction course is three years or five years, you've got a film made in two years. And instead of spending maybe fifty, sixty thousand dollars in tuition, and that's just tuition, right? So you still have living costs and expenses and all, all whatever. You're probably going to end up sp uh, spending thirty percent more at least. So instead of sp spending that money in tuition fees, why don't you spend that money and make a movie? Make whatever you can. You know, if you ca cannot make a feature film, make a short film. Make a fifteen, twenty minute short film. Try sending it to film festivals. Do you know make that a project? Uh, write, make it a great uh, script, make it something that you're passionate about, and go shoot it. Go find people, because those are real problems of filmmaking. Uh, if you prefer to be in the safe con confines of a film school, and that's how you want to learn, that's up to you. Because there's no, you know, everybody's different. Personalities are different. I would never recommend that you go and waste your parents' money on film school, especially when it's so expensive, and then spend th three years or four years of your life. Uh, in film school when you can make a movie in two years or a short film in just you know six or seven months maybe a year let's say so you can do all that in a year and the amount of experience you gain is the same thing you're gonna meet a lot of people when you make a short film or a feature film you're gonna um, you know audition actors hundreds of actors you're going to meet a lot of people t for the various uh, roles the you know for the head of departments for, for for the film you are going to meet a lot of distributors are going to be a lot of uh, marketers uh, if you go to film festival you meet other filmmakers and the audience also if you put it on YouTube you get immediate response to your work as well so uh, you do make friends even if you're you know filmmaking actually instead of friends you actually start meeting professionals people are already in uh, the world of filmmaking they're uh, you know working for a living instead of uh, making friends who are all in the same boat you cannot leave film school until you finish it but now you're making friends in the real world and you have to do that anyway. So I, I just don't see the value of film school anymore. Uh, there might be exceptions, there might be really great schools that put you through the grind and you have these great teachers and somehow all the stars align and you know it's yeah but how many seats do they have and you know the number of seats that they have is so small and the number of people that might want to go there so large it's just you know not practical for anybody to dream about doing that. I would still say, go to go and make your own movies, go start a YouTube channel, do some you know basic videos like this, sitting and talking in front of the camera. Do that, and you'll learn a lot just by doing this as well. So I hope uh, I have uh, given you my opinion. It's not an answer. It is one answer among a million answers. If you ask a million people. It's your responsibility to decide which way you want to go. Are you a risk taker? Go make a feature film. You know, are you, you know, brought up in a safe environment? Do you feel very, you know, afraid, meek all the time? Then yeah, go to film school. Ultimately, if you reach the same destination, you know, you reach where you want to reach, then nobody cares how you reach that place, as long as you didn't do it illegally. But otherwise, it doesn't matter. So I hope you found this video useful. And that is my answer on the subject on film school. Bye now.